and welcome back to my channel my name is Paula and this is your glow up channel this is where we talk about everything from the inner glow to the outer glow just a lady's overall glow because you know that the glow is not really just the highlighter on your face it is more about everything that's inside of you that you know letting your light shine and all so if you're new here you're welcome if you're returning Thank you for coming back. If you've not subscribed yet, please make sure to do that. And also click the little bell that will come after you subscribe. Because that way you'll know as soon as I post a video. Today we're talking about a topic that's not new to you. I'm sure you've heard of following the crowd. Now, I've decided to talk about this topic because it is an actual thing. And I think it applies to us girls a lot. Because you know you really want to be amongst. You don't want to... Be the different one or the odd one out or the weird one so most of the times i feel like we find ourselves doing things and applying things to our lives that really shouldn't be because it's not us it's not what we want or what we like but it's really what our posse or our tribe or the people around us want or like or believe in so that's why i feel the need to talk about this right now i'm not trying to make anybody feel bad because the truth is human beings in general regardless of age or gender or you know where you are in life you want to be a part of a group that is just uh that's just how humans are we're social animals so we don't want to be the odd one out in fact like i'm pretty sure our ancestors had to be in a group because of survival like literal hunting and stuff like that but for our day and age we really just want to be among so that you'll be considered trendy and you know because this is the internet age trends easily move around like it's easy to catch on with the trend of what is going on but bottom line regardless of whatever medium it is or wherever you are in life truth is the behavior of others affect our own behavior and that's not always a bad thing if you notice influencer marketing has hiked up as opposed to the traditional social media uh, traditional advertising our traditional advertising will be stuff like radio and newspaper and you know tv and all that but influencer marketing is really somebody you know if not personally then uh, a person that you see who seems to just be using these things or like applying them in her life his or her life and you feel okay if this person thinks this is good enough then maybe it is good enough and that way that is what uh, most brands are using now to advertise because they found out that I would be more likely to use a product that somebody I admire or somebody I follow or somebody I know is using as opposed to just seeing it on TV and just you know seeing them advertise it on TV and that is because we humans in general tend to use others as a sort of mental shortcut now here's what I mean if I find a product I could want to experiment and use it by myself and find out whether it's good or not whether they're lying or not whether they will deliver or not or I could just find somebody else who has used it and ask them is this thing good did it work for you can I use it should I use it would you recommend it that way I don't have to stress myself trying to experiment or using myself as a lab rat this person has said it worked for her so maybe it will most likely work for me and that's also the reason why you see words like best selling or most popular that's because you are more likely to use something to buy something or you know do something if a lot of people are already buying or doing it or using it because well if a lot of people are doing it then it must be good or you know it can't be so bad like i said it's not all negative if somebody can actually use a product in advance and let you guys know whether it's good or not especially if that person is not being paid or you're certain that that person is going to give an honest review then why not there's nothing wrong with going the certain route where you're sure that the product is going to work or a place is good and that's what i do on my instagram so you should probably follow me too so you get to know if and when i use products that i think are good the problem i believe applies to ideas too. if you're using a product because somebody else has used it and thinks it's good then that's not bad at all However, if you are adopting an idea that you don't really believe in just because somebody else lives in it or you know somebody you don't want to leave a certain circle because that's what they believe, then I think that's where the problem lies. The truth is most of us don't want to seem, in fact, I believe all of us don't want to seem odd or weird. We all want to be accepted, you know, there's this need for acceptance in a human. I feel like if you don't agree with something or something is not you or it's not your style or it's not what interests you or what makes you happy, it's not your strength, then I don't think you should go along with it just because your posse or your tribe is going along with it. If they're your actual tribe, then it is your difference that should make you attractive. You don't have to be clones of each other just because you're in a tribe. 
problem I find is number one, you lose your individuality and that is that thing that makes you you. Even if you have a twin, your mentals are not exactly the same, your talents are not the same. Even your dress sense cannot be exactly the same as somebody else. So why are you willing to let go of all these things that make you special? All these things that make you you so that you'll be a part of a group when if you're really supposed to be in that group then they will accept you the way you are if you're watching this video and something in the back of your mind is telling you that this is you this is something that you're doing because you can't tell you just try to ignore it or you try to remove it from your mind or not think about it but you can tell you have a friend that you really like but then she likes to you know she likes to wear sneakers and you you're really a heels girl and you feel like you have to wear sneakers so that you guys can twin when in truth you guys can still be buddies while she's wearing sneakers and you're wearing your heels and you'll make a great combination another thing that i find really negative about it is you're remaining there or you're doing that thing because you're scared of not being amongst and truly really understand that but here's the thing if we have maybe I don't know 80 90 100 years on this earth do you really want to live it in fear of not being included in a circle I know that being in a circle is really nice I know that having somebody in this life who wants to be with you and all that is really nice but is it worth living in fear like that so you're, you're looking at again I'm going to use heels and sneakers as an example you're looking at these pair of heels like you really like it you can see how you can style it but go for sneakers because you're scared that somebody else will not accept you in heels i think there's a big problem with that and if you really check it out you don't really want you don't want to live in fear like that for the rest of your life next reason i think there's a really big problem with following the crowd another person will follow you okay so still on our heels and sneaker example so now you're following her because you don't want to lose her friendship or her you know whatever it is maybe she doesn't even know that you like heels you're wearing sneakers just because of her because maybe if she knew she would probably still like you like that however you're wearing sneakers because she likes sneakers not because you really like sneakers now the next girl who really likes heels is looking at you and she's like okay so she since you're wearing sneakers then it can't be so bad so she will also refuse to wear heels and go for sneakers because of you so i feel like if you're living in your truth you're already helping somebody unknown to you because people watch people that's the truth of the matter and if you're living in your truth then i think you're going to help somebody else live in their truth too so if being you is going to help the next person why not when a general concept is trending and it does not apply to your own situation however because people are saying it and talking about it and you know making it so popular then you're trying to apply it to your own situation i'm going to give you an example now say you have a friend that's been really good to you really great and all that but you know how lately the trend has been leaning towards positive energy getting rid of toxic friends cutting off people that are not trying for you and stuff like that now this friend now has a bad day after you have collected this general consensus that any toxic friend should be cut off anybody that is not matching your energy should just be cut off and be gone and you know leave that situation and all that next time your friend has a bad day you're quickly thinking oh toxic people should stay away from me anybody that is not matching my energy should go yada 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 and then you lose a good friend even if that did not apply to your situation at all that was an opportunity for you to be a good friend that was an opportunity for you to be there for somebody who was down somebody who has been there for you a lot of times before you apply that popular concept to your life please check and see whether this really applies to you or not bad friends exist but you happen to have good friends why are you using rules that people with bad friends have had to come up with to apply to your good friends if you find yourself suppressing anything that makes you special please remember this video and let your light shine guys like this life is too short to leave it on somebody else's term. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you learned something new. And if there's any question that you have, you can contact me directly on Instagram through my DM. You can also leave comments over here. And if you have anything to add to what I said, please mention it in the comment section. Let's have that conversation. Uh, the reason why I say DM is because on Instagram we get we can chat and discuss and stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching and thank you for subscribing and for liking. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.